My name is Bobby Vascom. I'm a reporter for a public radio program called Living on Earth, and I went to Senegal to report on a project called the Great Green Wall. It's a plan to plant a wall of trees to go across the entire continent of Africa, um, from Senegal to Djibouti. And the plan is to plant this wall of trees to limit desertification and to stop um, the advance of the Sahara Desert um, south. Desertification in the Sahel is a really big problem for a couple different reasons. Uh, one is overgrazing and poor land management. In an area that's this dry, it's easy to um, you know, overgraze animals, and the people that live there um, subsist on their herds of goats and cows. But a larger problem is that it's simply becoming more dry. People told me that they are actually seeing desert species move into their region that were never there before. Um, and the climate is changing, so the, the rainy season is actually about a month shorter now than it used to be. And when the rainy season does come, it's um, not consistent, so it might rain for a few days and then stop raining for a few days. And as a result, people don't know what ex to expect, they don't know when to plant their crops anymore. So as a result, the Sahel region of Africa is actually in the middle of a um, food crisis. The United Nations Food Program estimates that um, roughly 11 million people don't have enough food to eat. It's a problem across the entire region. African leaders saw these problems of desertification, uh, changing climate, and food insecurity, and they came up with this plan to plant a wall of trees. The idea is that the trees would block the wind from um, bringing sand south from the Sahara and recharge the water table and um, you know, hopefully limit erosion as well. So when I first heard of the project, I thought, well, you know, that's really interesting. I, you know, it's such a, a great idea and so interesting, but how would it actually work? I mean, you're, you're trying to plant a wall of trees through some of the poorest countries in the world. Um, it's going to take a lot of money, a lot of technical know-how, and a lot of um, international, um, international cooperation between these different countries. So, with uh, support from the Pulitzer Center, I went to Senegal. Um, Senegal is the furthest along with the project. They've planted um, roughly 50,000 acres of trees over four years. They plant about two million trees every year, all of it during the rainy season. Um, and they are the furthest along right now, so I went there to see how it's working out for them. Um, the, the former president of Senegal, Abdullah Wad, was uh, really um, gung-ho for the project and a really big supporter of it, um, so that's why they're, they're so advanced, at least partly. Um, but this is also a development project, so in addition to planting the trees, the government technicians are also helping people, mostly women, to plant gardens. So they go there and show the women how to plant everything from carrots to onions, tomatoes, even watermelon. In doing so, the people, they obviously have access to more food. Before the project, uh, it was a day's trek in a horse-drawn cart to get to the nearest market, and now they have, um, you know, better access to food and, uh, you know, a uh, improved quality of life, arguably. Um, the government also hopes that the, um, in helping people to plant these gardens that they will get support for the, the Great Green Wall project as a whole. The idea is that, um, you know, there's sort of two sides of the same coin. So if people see that there's a benefit for them in these gardens, then they'll want to support the project as a whole and, uh, you know, help to plant the trees and not let the, their goats eat the trees and that sort of thing. But a lot of people are skeptical that this project can work. While it seems to be working out in Senegal, um, to take that and extrapolate it out through 11 other different countries and different uh, geographic diversity, you know, a lot of geographic diversity and different political systems, um, you know, and different people, it, it's very difficult. And so people are skeptical that this vision of a literal wall of trees can actually work out. But so far, it does seem to be working in Senegal, and I think it'll be really interesting to see what happens with it in the future.